Hey, how's it going guys? It's your retro future boy, Ricky Summer here. And today I've come back in time to test the profitability of trading versus mining early game in X4 Foundations. The results may shock you. But first, a word from our sponsor. Chrome Stallions, Armored Mercenary Company. No job is too big. All right, so since my last video about large ship mining, there'll be a link to that up on the top of the screen right there. I've been thinking about the profitability of mining versus trading early on in the game, maybe for a brand new player. So I went and tested it. Let me show you my testing methodology. So first and foremost, there are, there are two very important things that I wanted, to, I wanted to portray here. A new player in a new galaxy, so new game start, and not, you know, not really knowing much about the game, and the where's and what's profitable and what's not, and not wanting to get bogged down in micromanagement. So we're testing for a brand new player, brand new galaxy, who just wants to say, go trade, make me money without me thinking about it, or go mine, make me money without me thinking about it. So that's what I've tested here. And the way I've done that is with a brand new start, naturally, I use the unworthy entrepreneur game start because it already furnishes us with a Taladi trader to begin with. So it's, that's half of what we need already done. And I really just use my Kestrel to scout the main loop here. I don't know if it's got a name, but I feel like this loop should have a name. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. What would you call this? Um, yeah, so I just went around the main loop. So all we're really seeing are the stations directly around the highways and the jump gates. Uh, and honestly, at first I thought, mm, this is going to give the trader an unfair advantage because we're not seeing a lot of asteroids here. But I was proven wrong there. And we'll talk about that in a second. Okay, so the second thing was ease of use. Now, we have a couple of options for trading. With the miner, really the best thing to do is go auto mine silicon. And I chose silicon because for the most part, from my observation uh, with traders, after you know, several hours in game, I've noticed that for the most part, they usually only trade in one wear at a time. I do sometimes catch them with maybe a few energy cells here and there, but the bulk of their cargo is, you know, I've gone to a station, I've bought one wear, full up, you know, filled up my cargo with it, and now I'm I'm going off and selling it. It's not diversifying the, the you know, the wares, you know what I mean? So I wanted to to try and simulate that by, by having the miner just focus on one ware, silicon, which appears to be the most profitable common um, mineral, you know, in, in my observation. Okay, on the trader side of things, I did something a little bit different. So you can set auto trade with the trader. However, this kind of this kind of goes against my ease of use um, aspect here. That that I, I wanted to test a new player who doesn't really know what they're doing. So auto trade requires you to set where's to trading. Now, <laughs> you either need to know what's profitable. Or you need to go into the trade menus here, have, bring up the trade overlays and look in every system uh, that you have explored and go, okay, yes, they're selling low here and they're selling high there. So that's a trade route that I could potentially do. So let's set up, you know, shield components or whatever uh, to trade, you know. And I felt like that was just a little bit too much work for a new player. They might not know to do that and they might not really understand how to do that. Um, how to how to look at the market and, and make those those decisions and that is assuming that that going into that detail and using auto trade like that would actually be more profitable we don't know if it would be uh, maybe that's another test to do <laughs> I don't know if I'll do it I don't want to get too much into this like I said in my last video I'm not usually like a testing kind of guy but uh, X4 just brings it out of me okay so the 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 ships that we used were the uh, the Manorina Vanguard, the Taladi Manorina Vanguard, which is a, a medium miner, and the Taladi Vulture Vanguard, which is a medium trader. Now, I've kitted them out. Hopefully, I can show you. Can we... I don't think I can. Uh... <laughs> I think it's a... Hang on, hang on, hang on. I think... Wait, wait, wait. Are we at a, are we at a wharf? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Upgrade and repair. Here we go. Okay. So, what I've done is I've given them both Mark 1 travel drives. I've given them all-round Mark 1 thrusters. Me, uh, you know, the lowest, the cheapest shields they can they can furnish themselves with. Uh, and this is where I had to make a little bit of a decision. So the mining ship, of course, requires a mining drill, but you can also install 
mining turrets. Now, at first, I'm like, oh, shit, should I do that to maximize its potential, right? Um, you know, it's just mining let's let's really focus on that because i was really concerned that the trader was going to to come out ahead and i was giving the miner this um this disadvantage here by not having uh not having scanned a lot of asteroid rich sectors and and not being full up with with mining lasers but i decided no let's try and keep it as even as possible so i went with a couple of pulse lasers for defense which were ultimately unnecessary but it's just to keep it simple and hopefully not give anyone an unfair advantage that was that was my intent. So the the trader is spec'd out similarly, um, with a similar drive and and that sort of thing. Okay. Hey, it's editing room Rick. I just wanted to slip in here and shout out a couple of mods that were integral to the success of this test. First and foremost, the X4 cheat menu allowed me to cheat in the miner so that I didn't have to go around and actually make money and then buy it and risk affecting my brand new game start, which I felt was important to the integrity of the test. Secondly, this is absolutely absolutely important without this we couldn't have done the test at all the player trade ship by notifications mod links to both of these mods in the description below along with all the other mods i'm using so the player trade ship by notification mod it shows you not just how much your ships make but how much they spend so like this we're able to see how much the trader spends on wares and then how much they make so we can do a little bit of subtraction and then we can see what the actual profit is. All right, back to test room, Rick. Shall we get to the results? Hey, I think it's about time. Okay, so I, I set them off, the, the minor auto trading and the trader auto trade galaxy using that command so it would find its own deals and whatnot. I set them off for two hours one last thing, they both have full crews of apprentice crewmen, and they both have five-star captains. The reason I've done this, even though a, a new player in a new game is not going to have five-star captains, using the cheat mod that I that I <laughs> used to, to bring in some assets to get this done quicker, um, it was just so much easier to get two five-star captains than it was to get two one-star captains and i did need at least a one-star captain to get the auto mining working right so that's the only concession i've i've given you know ease of testing you know listen listen you understand at least they're equal i'd rather them be equal than it than it <laughs> not be accurate to a new player's game okay shall we get to the results bring them up on screen <laughs> Wow, holy shit, after two hours, what was really interesting, what surprised me, is they both made the same amount of trades. That's very surprising and, and kind of interesting, and that tickles me in a delicious little way. So you'll notice that the miner is consistent as fuck, just pumping out um, 75,000 credits, 75,000 credits. Now, you notice the miner's profits do go down. Is this an element of oversaturating the market? Maybe? maybe it is so perhaps over time the trader will will come out ahead and the miner will will be left in the dust who knows i think i need to like set it going for like um <laughs> maybe 24 hours or something dude i don't know if my computer can handle running that long um the trader on the other hand was very all over the place with its trades you notice it spent a lot of money right so you need startup capital with the trader so that's maybe another point um, in the favor of the miner, all you need is the miner itself and it can make you money. But the trader requires that you have, you know, a few hundred thousand credits for it to even get started, right? And keep in mind, when I set these guys to go, I had about 1.5 million. So it's not like, it's not like you can say, hey, Rick, maybe you didn't have enough money. So the trader wasn't buying expensive enough wares. No, I had plenty of money. It could have spent it. And this is what it, this is what it chose to spend it on. So, you know, uh, 24,000, 19,000, 1 1.3, 100, 65 profit. Excuse me. Is that why would you even do that? <laughs> 35,000. Look, the point is that no single run with the trader could even touch a single run with the miner. They both ran for the exact same amount of time and they both made the same amount of trades. And ultimately the miner came out with almost seven, uh, 750,000 credits in profit, profit, right? Okay. 
and the trader came back with almost 250,000 credits in profit. Wow. Wow. Okay, this is this is blowing my mind right now. This is like my mind is fully exploded. So like what's going on here? Is mining just like fully OP? It's hard to say. <laughs> now, there might be an element of of the captain's rank here because I do notice that with a one star captain previously, I was making like low 60,000s, right? Each each run with my miners. Um, to begin with, then, you know, you saturate the market and it all goes south. Uh, but, you know, they both have five-star captains, okay? So, I feel like it's it should be balanced. You know, you've got captains of equal skill doing two different jobs. I don't know. I feel, I feel like that's balanced. I feel like that's a mostly accurate test. But again, guys, you know, this is not usually my bag. I'm not the test things kind of guy. It's just X4 brings it out of me. So let me know, was my testing methodology flawed? Could it have been tested in a different way? Maybe I should have let it run for longer. But even so, I, I feel like two hours is a pretty good gauge. You know, if, if the argument is, hey, yo, you need your trader running for at least 10 hours. Well, is that really new player friendly? You know, I'm just talking about least amount of effort. Keep that in mind, least amount of effort and the most profits from that. And it seems like mining is it. My tiny little brain is blown. I was fully expecting to be like, all right, I know I'm, I'm a mining fanboy, <laughs> but trading is going to prove to be more profitable and I'm going to have to eat my hat. Wow, was I wrong. So in terms of being wrong, remember I mentioned that I was concerned that only having explored for the most part, um, you know, directly around the main loop of jump gates and highways and whatnot was going to leave us with no information about asteroids. Well, apparently it doesn't matter because uh, the miner here was quite happy to discover new systems all on its own. I swear to you guys, I did not come here personally. I did not scout out this system, but the miner sorted out itself. It knew there were asteroids there somehow, and it, it went and got a whole bunch of silicon, and it was more than happy to do so. Fascinating. Fascinating indeed. My tiny little mind. My tiny little mind is blown. So there you go. That's the results. I guess it's back to mining, guys. Let me know. Have you uh, have you had some good success with trading? Um, more than happy to be proven wrong with my methodology. Maybe I could have done something different. Maybe my entire testing methodology was asinine. Who knows? But to my sensibility, it seemed pretty fair and accurate. I tried to keep it as fair as possible. <sighs> wow. So thank you guys very much for watching. Taste the game. Be excellent to each other. And I'll see you next time. Ricky Summer. Out. <laughs>